Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR, and this time we're going to look closely at a tool called Bulge or Inflate and Deflate. It's for adjusting lines and structures that are already there, not quite the same as the smoothing tool. So as our first demonstration, I'm just going to use our regular sphere and draw a simple line, nice and normal line. Now in our sphere tools, the fourth, the second from last one, is called bulge and deflate. Yellow is bulge mode. Orange is deflate mode. And they do exactly what you'd expect. So I'm going to go into bulge mode and now put the sphere over this line and bulge it up a little bit. The bigger you make your brush, the bigger that bulge is going to get. Likewise, if I make the whole thing smaller, now that's a very big bulge on the end of the line. Deflate works the same way, just the opposite, but it's much more powerful. So I'm just going to do a very quick click. And you can see how it deflated almost entirely. Let's make it a lot bigger. And now try that deflate. So you can see how it shrinks away at the line. The quality of the edge will depend on the layer you're on, and we'll work with layers later on. So we can either deflate, make smaller, or inflate, bulge out, to make bigger. Deflate is much more powerful bulge, you can stroke over that area a few more times to get it bigger and bigger. Whereas our deflate, I'm even going to make this really big. So when I deflate, you can see it really erodes away the whole structure very quickly. Even more so than the smoothing tool. The deflate really makes the whole thing smaller. So this is how these tools work on objects, smaller pieces. If you're working with a landscape or a larger piece, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly draw in a large piece and then zoom us in so we're standing in front of a big surface here. There we go. Now we've got a big surface here. Now when I use this inflate and deflate, you can sort of see here on the surface, if I draw into the surface, it's fairly obvious, even if I use the smoothing tool. But if I go in with inflate, bulge, now it's a little smoother of an action, bringing up a slower, smoother bulge. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I change my scale a little bit here. So you can see how it raises the surface a little bit, changes the contour, without making a whole new line of its own. It's just inflating and bulging where this is. This is nice for subtle details. So for example, in a sculpture, if I want to raise the veins in the back of the hand, I can go in and bulge out a few lines. Let's see if I can get a nice smoother, flatter piece here. Let's go for our slicing tool. Slice off a nice flat plane here. Bulge that up a bit. Now when I use this bulge tool, let's get a little shadow here. You can see how it affects a larger area. And this whole area is lumping up, coming up farther and farther out of the background. Now we can really start to see that, that that texture, that perspective. Hopefully you guys can see it. So this is the bulge or deflate, great for these subtle textures like in a face. If I go in with the deflate version, again, you can see how it distorts the area around it. And instead, whoops, and instead of doing a whole divot, a whole big divot, it's just making a smooth groove. It's deflating and pulling down the surface. So I'm going to move this around so you can see these pieces next to each other and see if I can get it closer to the camera. How one set of lines is bulging out of that surface 
and one set of the lines is sort of grooved, depressed into the surface. Get a little bit of perspective with our lighting and things here. So that is using the deflate to sink that groove in. Yeah, that's a good example of the deflate right there. Making almost a slow canyon eroded into that background. As opposed to the bulge pulling up a ridge line back here, pulling it up out of the background, but keeping it smooth and blended so I'm not just painting new pieces on top of it, but I'm actually bulging and deforming the landscape in a little more subtle process. So whether you're taking a whole object and deflating it or bulging it, or just using it as a more subtle carving tool, bringing out pieces or receding in pieces. The bulge and deflate tool gives you a little more control, a little more process on how you want that surface. A little more control than smooth, but gives you more sculptural tools at the same time. So if you want a more subtle way to carve away, deflate. If you want a more subtle way to bring things up, bulge. It is the fourth tool on our sphere line. It's all for creating different pieces and carving away from your sculpture. I hope this is helpful for you guys. We have a lot of fun doing these. We do them every week live on Twitch as well as recorded here on YouTube slash Shameless Mayhem on both places. Let us know in the comments if you have questions or things you'd like to us to show or more things you want to learn about. I'm going to do our usual message here. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Teaching Sculptor VR. Have fun, everyone.